So hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is magsashare ako ng mga ilang Chrome extensions and yung app na ginagamit ko para maging productive ako sa school like, you know, online classes. So before we start guys, just make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell button beside it to be notified whenever I post new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So, before ako mag-proceed dun sa video is ito, papakita ko muna sa inyo yung suot ko which is itong football jersey na sinabi ko dun sa last video ko which is from our shop which is streetstyle.abc Ayan yung shirt na nakuha ko. Ayan. It is Fly Emirates with white and red. Itong football jersey is Puma siya. Ayan, nakalagay. So, ayan lang. This football jersey is just in the small size. Ewan ko kung bakit ang laki niya sa akin. Pero kasi sabi, yung mga Fly Emirates daw na football jerseys is malalaki yung sizes. So, papakita ko na lang sa inyo yung mga pictures dito. Ayan, may kita niyo kung gano'n siya kalaki sa akin. Pero okay lang naman kasi more on, gusto ko ngayon yung mga oversized shirts. So, another one. This is the scrunchie that I got from Senorita Cosmetics. Okay, Senorita Cosmetics na naman tayo. So, actually, dalawa siya. Ayan. Ito yung kulay nung isa, which is parang medyo brownish or cream. And this is white one. Matagal na sa akin dumating to, and hindi ko pa siya napipicturan or anything. So, yun. Ginamit ko na lang siya ngayon. Kasi ang cute na tignan. Ito mga Chrome extensions and yung app na ginagamit ko is mostly dun ko nilalagay yung schedule, yung to-do list, and also yung kapag ka nagre-research, mga gano'n. So today's so today. So today guys, it's currently September 16, 3:02 p.m. and baka nagtataka kayo kung bakit ako nakakapag-film. It is because 5 p.m. pa yung class ko mamaya for our mathematics and ayun, naisip ako munang mag-film so why not para ma makapag-upload naman ako consistently sa YouTube channel ko so ayun. Dapat sinasabi, girl. So guys, according to my research about Google extensions, extensions are small software programs that customize the browsing experience. They enable users to tailor Chrome functionality and behavior to individual needs or preferences. So itong mga itong Chrome extensions is makakatulong talaga siya for prod productivity and also organizations na rin ng Google Chrome. And yung isang app naman na sasabihin ko sa inyo, mostly doon ako talaga na pa ng mga schedules, to-do list, yung mga tasks na need kong gawin, or kahit sa at home, kahit sa pag-plan ng mga YouTube videos, doon ko ginagawa sa app na sasabihin ko sa inyo later on in this video. So, first Chrome extension that I'll be showing with you is this Momentum. So, ano nga ba yung Momentum? Well, yung Momentum is nagre-replace siya ng new tab nyo to your personalized dashboard which includes the time, your main focus of the day, to-do list, weather and forecast, and also yung links na pwede mo ilagay doon. So, parang shortcut yun sa mga links na gusto mong ilagay doon. So, Momentum new tab page that gives you a moment of calm and inspires you to become more productive. So, yun ang sinasabi ko sa inyo. More productive kasi nakakatulong yung momentum doon. And also, dun sa momentum is makikita nyo doon sa background nya is nag iba iba yun araw-araw which is parang sa nature siya most of the time. Ito nga, nakalagay dito is new inspirational photo and quote each day. Also, momentum set a daily goal, focus, or in or intention. Keep track of tasks and to-do list. So, next Chrome extension naman is this Google Calendar and Google Keep. So, at first kasi nung nag-start akong gumamit ng mga Chrome extensions is Google Calendar yung ginagamit ko for my schedules and also for the tasks that I need to do. So, for the Google Calendar then, it displays a preview of your calendar in your browser. And pwede nyo siyang masync through your phone para may kita nyo doon yung schedules nyo. This extension shows events from whatever calendars you are logged in with Chrome. So, kahit anong calendars yung ginagamit nyo, pwede nyo siyang makita gamit yung Google Calendar. And, dapat yung calendars is within Chrome. Well, for now, hindi ko na siya masyadong ginagamit kasi nga, 
Iba na yung ginagamit ko, which is yung app. Yung Google Keep naman is doon ako naglalagay ng mga to-do list and mga notes na na partner ko lang siya sa Google Calendar, yung Google Keep kasi meron shortcut ng Google Keep sa Google Calendar na pwede nyo pindutin yun. So, may kita nyo agad doon yung, yung Google Keep nyo na nakalagay yung mga to-do list and everything. So, the next Chrome extension is the Google Dictionary. So, for the Google Dictionary naman, it is parang dictionary lang talaga. Ang advantage lang nito is kapag ka gumagawa kayo ng research, nang babasa kayo ng articles, blogs, or anything na sinesearch nyo on Chrome is pwede nyo i-highlight yung word na hindi nyo naiintindihan or hindi kayo ganun ka-familiar sa word na yun. Pwede nyo siyang i-highlight and then i-click nyo lang yung parang dictionary na nandun sa Chrome extension tab para ma-define yung word na yun using Google Dictionary. But effective siya kapag gumagawa kayo ng mga researches or assignments, homeworks na gagawin nyo, lalo na kapag ka may hindi kayo naiintindihan or kapag ka masyado ng redundant yung word is mag-search lang kayo doon no synonyms niya or anything. Ngayon is nagagamit-gamit ko naman yung Google Dictionary kasi most of the time ayoko nung masyadong nauulit yung word and alam ko yung ibang word na ginagamit ko is masyado siyang informal for essays so nagsasearch ako dun for the synonyms of like studying, understanding, mga ganun. Ayun, nakakatulong na rin yung para mag-widen yung vocabulary nyo sa word and mag-improve yung paggagawa nyo ng mga essays or yung mga kailangan nyo gawin. So, the next and last Chrome extensions that I'll be sharing with you is this Checker Plus for Gmail. So, bakit ko ito sinamit? It is because parang I think in this time of online learning and online classes, kailangan nyo yung Checker Plus for Gmail. Lalo na, lalo na dun sa mga students na gumagamit ng Canvas. Kasi most of the time, sa Canvas talaga nagsisend ng emails regarding sa subjects nyo. Gamit na gamit ko talaga yung Checker Plus for Gmail. Kasi whenever na may nag email sa akin sa personal account ko or even dun sa full email ko is nakikita ko agad dun yung mga nag email sa akin. And pwede nyo siyang i-unread agad dun kapag nabasa nyo na. And pwede nyo rin siya doon basahin mismo, hindi na kayo pupunta directly sa Gmail na website. Well, doon sa mga nabanggit ko Chrome extension is, I think ito yung pinaka-useful para sa akin. Kasi, syempre, kailangan ko i-check yung personal Gmail account ko, pati yung school Gmail account ko. Dahil, matatrack nyo na din doon kung yung mga napasa nyo, homework, assignment, quizzes, or anything is nakita na ng teacher nyo. So, the last thing that I'll be sharing with you is this most useful app that I am using in this time of online learning. It is the app of Notion. So, itong Notion is nakita ko lang siya kay Janice Studies, which is nagbigay siya ng template dun for your online classes. So, yun na nga guys. Itong app ng Notion is i-install nyo siya sa inyong laptop or desktop. And, hindi naman siya ganun kalaki for the size ng file. Sa mga gustong maging productive and yung natatrack nila yung schedule, yung to-do list, and everything na kailangan yung gawin. Even at home, pag may kailangan pa yung gawin. Itong app ng Notion yung pinagamit ko. So again, based on my research, Notion is an application that provides components such as databases, Kanban boards, wikis, calendars, and reminders. Users can connect these components to create their own systems for knowledge management, note-taking, data management, project management, among others. So, ayan. Available siya on Mac OS, Windows, iOS, and Android. In Notion, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga to-do list, pwede kayong gumawa din ng calendar nyo. Pwede nyo rin i-set yung mga task schedules nyo doon by filtered list lang. Like kunyari, kapag ka naglagay kayo ng mga to-do list nyo, to-do task is meron kayo group for assignments, for exams, quizzes, discussion tasks, assessment, projects, reporting, mga ganun. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay doon. And also, pwede nyo rin gawin dito yung mag note taking Effective to if naka-iPad or tablet kayo. Maganda to for note-taking. And also, pwede kayong gumawa dito ng task board nyo, which is meron kayong main board. And pwede siya magkaroon ng mga sub-board. Tama ba yung sub Like, kunyari, dun sa nakuha kong template kay Janice Studies is the Master Schedule Template. 
parang ganun. And yung main board nun is yung section ko. And yung nakapaloob din is yung master schedule template, yung course 1, course 2, and yung schedule. Pwede nyo buksan yun isa-isa. So, parang for be specific na kasi, it is really an organizer for yourself, for your life, for your online classes. And yes, it is very useful for me that I have this notion up. Kasi dito ako naging productive and dito ko na monitor or natatrack yung mga tasks na need kong gawin on time and ahead of time para hindi ako nagka-cram. Kasi by using this notion up, karoon ako ng schedule sa mga bagay na dapat kong gawin. So ayan, I recommend you guys to have this app notion in your desktop, laptop, or even on your phones you can sync the Notion app that you did on your laptop on your phone kapag ka nag-download kayo ng Notion sa phone nyo well yung akin is hindi ko na siya hindi ko na ito dinownload lang kasi hindi ko siya masyadong na gagamit kasi most of the time ginagamit kong paggawa ko ng school works is yung laptop so ayun so that's it guys for the Chrome extensions and app that I use to stay productive this online classes so i guess guys this will be the end of this video i hope you enjoy and nakatulong ako sa inyo para maging productive this school year if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button beside it para ma notify kayo whenever i upload new videos so again guys thank you for watching and see you on my next bye i used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate